ride home late today on the school bus lands JCPS Elementary School kids right in two local hospitals for minor injuries. But the big story tonight is how that bus handled the collision with a minivan. Hello everybody and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. It all happened around four this afternoon on Rangeland Road and Ridgecrest Road down in Newburgh. Let's check in with WHS 1119 teams Bobby McSwine. She was at the crash scene earlier and she is right now live outside Norton Children's Hospital downtown with a new update. Bobby. Well, Doug, JCPS says parents were grateful. They were worried, but grateful that their children were okay. We're here now at Norton Children's Hospital, right in front of the ambulance entrance where that ambulance entered earlier today. Now, we did see some parents and loved ones out here, and they didn't want to be on camera, but they echo what the district say and say they were very grateful that their children made it out safely. A JCPS school bus into the side of a minivan. 17 students on board the bus. It looks like a bad accident at first glance, but luckily the students and bus driver are expected to be okay. The bus itself not taking much abuse either. A few scratches, a broken headlight, and a falling bumper. I'm a mom. I have a child in elementary school, and so when you get that call, no matter what age it is, but when you get that call that a bus of elementary schoolers has been in an accident, Again, your heart sinks. Carolyn Callahan, spokesperson for JCPS, says the bus was carrying Indian Trail Elementary students home from school when the crash happened at the intersection of Rangeland and Ridgecrest Road, right in front of Rangeland Elementary School and the Okalona Fire Department. It was probably a blessing in disguise because we were right there and responded immediately. Okalona Fire Chief Joe Hamilton says his crews quickly helped the eight children who had minor injuries and made the other nine children feel at ease. They're very scared, which I don't blame them. It's a very scary situation. Uh, when I got here, they were all still in the bus and they were upset. Get them into a calm environment, talk to them, give them something to do and just uh, play with them and uh, make sure that all their needs are met. They gave them fire hats and they were asking them about their favorite books. And so they really made it a really scary situation for our kids, something that they could handle and be okay with. The people in the minivan were also taken to the hospital. Now, Callahan says six of the eight injured children were taken here to Norton Children's Hospital, and the other two were taken to Norton Women's and Children's. Now, they also say the other nine children who were uninjured were taken on school buses, some of them, and some of them were picked up by parents. LMPD says this is still under investigation, so no details about what caused the crash has been released as of yet. I'm live in Louisville. Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119, on your side.